So this is our iron side holster setup. The iron side is our concealment outside the waistband holster. Obviously at T-Rex we make an inside the waistband holster. We love appendix carry, but there's a lot of situations, different body types, uh, different wardrobes that really lend themselves to a three o'clock to five o'clock outside the waistband setup, which is what this is for. At first glance, this is a pretty simple product. It looks like a very generic uh, outside the waistband holster, but there are a bunch of different options that it will give you. For example, we have belt clips that are available in different sizes. So whether you're running a one and a half inch belt or a one and three quarter inch belt, you can swap these out and get uh, much better security on different sizes of belt. Now, as you look at the belt clips, you'll see that we have a little bit of texture here. The tighter your belt is pulling this up against you, the more secure, the more stable this holster is going to be against your body. And the stiffer the belt is, the more comfortable it's gonna be as well. It's a little counterproductive, but that lets the belt carry the weight and hold the holster the best. So something like the T-Rex Arms Nova belt is gonna be better than the, uh, the floppy leather belt that I happen to be wearing today. This holster also gives you adjustable cant. So you can cant the holster forwards if you're drawing from more of a four o'clock position, or you can change the cant so that it's tilted in different directions. Now for 90% of users, the 10 degree forward cant that it comes with is gonna be what you want. That's gonna give you the best draw and the best concealment. But if for whatever reason you want to adjust, you can do that using these holes right here. So the holster is gonna come with this belt clip mounted to these topmost holes, which give you the 10 degrees forward cant. You can also move it down to five degrees forward cant, zero degrees, or five degrees negative cant, whichever it is that you wanna run. But again, for most of you, you're gonna want the 10 degrees forward cant. You're gonna to want to leave the clip exactly how it comes. Another feature of the holster is that it tilts a little bit into the body. This is not adjustable, but it does improve concealment quite a bit. So that when you have that tighter belt, you actually get the grip and the top of the weapon pulled a little bit more into you for concealment. And we've also improved the Kydex itself. So this is a thicker, sturdier Kydex. It offers more rigidity, which means that it also offers better retention which we think is a very important thing when you're carrying outside the waistband, your belt and your pants are not helping retain that weapon. We needed the sturdier Kydex to do that. But it adjusts just like any other normal Kydex holster. It adjusts like everything else that we have. For the light compatible holsters, you have two screws right here. The top screw is going to adjust uh, the friction primarily, and the bottom screw is going to be what adjusts the retention, how it actually grabs the light. So if you adjust both of these very tight, you'll have retention on the light, but you also have a lot of friction coming out. If you loosen this top screw and tighten that down there, you won't have quite as much friction as you draw, but the more you tighten this down, the more you actually grab the light. That's gonna be the same whether you're running an X300, a TLR1, a TLR7. This bottom screw right here is what really controls the retention on the light. And if you are running a holster without a weapon light, you have an extra screw right here that really controls the retention on the trigger guard. So these two screws, again, control friction. This one a little bit less, this one a little bit more. This is the one that controls the retention of the weapon inside the holster. And whether you have a weapon light or no weapon light, you should adjust it directly to the weapon that you own as soon as the holster arrives. And then you should revisit that retention every couple of months just to make sure that none of the screws have backed out. It still is the way that you want it to be. It still is the level of support and retention that you want. And after you get it dialed in, exactly the way that you want it and you've tested it here in midair like this, like I'm doing, make sure you also test it on your belt because it's a very different feel and a very different draw stroke. Now, if you are running a gun without a weapon light, you need to make sure that you have the non-weapon light version of the holster. The version of the holster that is made for weapon lights will not secure the gun if it doesn't have the weapon light attached. That's because all of the iron side holsters are very precision formed for exactly the shape of the gun and exactly the shape of the light. So it is going to be a perfect fit made specifically for your weapon and your light combination and cut to the exact length of what it is that you have with one exception. If you have a three and a half inch barrel pistol, one of the really small 
Glock 43 or M&P Shield, that kind of gun, we're actually gonna cut it just a little bit longer than the actual barrel length, uh, basically the same length as if you had a threaded barrel, because the extra leverage, the extra length right here is gonna help this holster be more stable as you wear it and as you run it. And we're gonna continue to add support for different weapons, different weapon lights. You can contact our customer support team team at trex-arms.com and they can let you know about upcoming support that we have planned. And the Ironside system isn't just the holster, it also is a whole series of carriers for pistol mags, rifle mags, tourniquets, handcuffs, and you can get those to go with your Ironside system as well.